guys, it's Mina, and today in this, sorry, I had to fix my shirt, and, t and today in this video, I'm going to do, and sorry again, I had to fix the camera, anyway, today in this video, I'm going to do a movie view, and this is going to be my last one for a while, and today I'm going to do The Secret Life of Pets. So The Secret Life of Pets is about this, um, Jack Russell Terrier named Max, who is voiced by Louis C.K., um, whose owner brings in another dog named Duke, who is a brown mongo, who is voiced by Eric Stone Street. And he gets jealous because he's always used to being his owner's, like, the object of affection for his owner. But, um, the two, but as the two are out walk, being walked, they accidentally end up losing their collars and get picked up by a, um, by a dog pound and they are chopped with the flesh pets and they have to figure out how to get home. Okay, so to start off, I loved The Secret Life of Pets. It was the cutest little film ever. I just could not stop fawning over how cute all the animals were, how wonderful the movie was, and the animation, even though it was computer animated. Anyway, but it was just like probably the best film I've ever seen this year. So, I'm going to start, and I've heard, I honestly heard a lot of people talk about it, including my friend Josie, who you guys have seen in a ton of my videos. Videos. So, I'm going to talk about the director. This is directed by Chris Renaud. Renaud? I think that's how it's pronounced. R-E-N-A-U-D. I think Renaud, that's how it's pronounced. I have no idea. And I'm pretty familiar with some of his work. Like, he's directed Bear in the Big Blue House, which I've seen, like, one episode of. The movie Robot, which is one of my favorites. Ice Age, The Meltdown, which is another one of my favorites. Horton Hears a Who. Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. And Despicable Me. So those are the movies that he has directed that I've seen. Next, I'm going to talk about the characters. I really like Max. Um, I love that he's so loyal to his owner like he cares about her he waits for her to come home like all day by the door he cares about all his friends and that's really sweet and i like how at first he's kind of jealous of duke because he's used to being the only he's used to being the object of affection for his owner but after he see, hears about duke's story of what happened to him he learn he starts to really like Duke. He starts to feel bad for Duke and understand what he's going through and he starts to become friends with him. And I like how he has like a cute little relationship with Gidget. And he's voiced by Louis C.K. and Louis C.K. I'm not familiar with in anything else but this movie. Next I'm going to talk about Duke. Duke is another character I like and I like, what, what I like about him at first is he's kind of selfish and he's careless, like he doesn't care about like if he breaks something, something, he just is like, yeah, so he's just so careless and, and kind of selfish and full of himself, so he kind of like annoys Max with with his careless behavior but later on he shows to have like a really a backstory of why he's like that and um, Max starts to be much nicer to him I really like that and they start to become friends after they're kidnapped they're taken by the dog pound and taken on a journey <laughs> and he's voiced by and he's a brown mong girl, by the way, and he's voiced by Eric Stone Street. And Eric Stone Street, I've seen him in Bad Teacher, and he plays somebody named Kirk. Next, I'm going to talk about Snowball. I think Snowball is so cute, even though he's kind of evil. I like that he's, um, has, like, a story of why he doesn't like people, and he... Yeah, so I like how he has a story of why he does. He has a strong dislike for people because he was abandoned by his owner, who happened to be a magician, and he and he um, starts a little thing called the Flush, a little um, club called the Flush Pets. <laughs> 
Yes, which is um, kind of interesting, but then he starts to, um, but after he gets picked up by a little girl, he starts to realize that humans are not as bad as they seemed. Sorry if I get away for those that haven't seen it. And he's a bunny, and then for those who didn't know, bunnies are my favorite animal, and he's voiced by Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart, I've seen him in The Long Came Paul, and he plays somebody named Vic. Next I'm going to talk about Gidget. Gidget is my favorite character out of all the characters in the movie. I like all the other characters, but Gidget is just my most favorite because she's so cute. I love how she has, how she has so much energy and she has like slight, a slight obsession with Max because she's in love with him. And she um, will do anything she can to find him. Like she persuades her the other animals to help her find him. Because um, she talked, because none of the other animals feel those really care too much about Max, even though he's helped them. But she reminds them of all the good things that he did for all the other animals. <laughs> animals, and she's like always by his side. It's really cute. And she is a white Pomeranian, and she's voiced by Jenny Slate. And Jenny Slate, I do not know her from anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Chloe. Chloe is a character that I find pretty funny because I love that she's so lazy and she doesn't really care too much about Max. Max, she's kind of like a little bit, bit um, too full of her. She's kind of only cares about herself pretty much, much, and she's just lazy and doesn't think about others. But after Max goes missing, she joins her friends on the journey and starts to realize how important Max is because he's helped the other animals. And she is a gray tabby, and she is voiced by Lake Bell. And Lake Bell, I've seen her in Over Her Dead Body, and she plays somebody named Ashley. And she's also in What Happens in Vegas, and she plays somebody named Tipper. The next character I'm going to talk about is Buddy. I like Buddy because I like how he's also a good friend towards Max. I like how he will do whatever it takes to find him. He cares so much about him and he sees how much he has helped him and the other animals. I really like that about him and he watches and he wants to make sure he's safe and sound. And he is a dachshund by the way and he's voiced by Hannibal Burris and Hannibal Burris I know him from Neighbors and he plays somebody named Officer Watkins. Next, I'm going to talk about Pops. I like Pops because he's a real, he's a, he's pretty funny. I like how he, um, I like how he's kind of like, even though he's kind of blind, he, um, <laughs> thinks, Chloe, I like how he, um, thinks Chloe's a dog, Chloe's a dog, even though she's a cat, and calls him her girlfriend, and comes, it calls her another name for his girlfriend. It's kind of cute. <laughs> It's pretty funny, but you, it's kind of creepy, even though it's pretty funny. Like, he's unaware that she's a cat. <laughs> and, um... And I find it sad how he's paralyzed in his black back legs. Like, but he is still a pretty funny character. And he is a basset hound. And, um... He's voiced by Dana Carvey, and Dana Carvey I recognize from The Master of Disguise. By the way, let me know if you guys want a review on The Master of Disguise in the comments down below. Next, I'm going to talk about Mel, and Mel is a pug. One thing I like about Mel is that he's a little bit hyper. It is pretty funny to watch him bark at random things that come to the window. It kind of reminds me of um, my dogs I had when I was a kid. A kid, like my... English Setter and I think my new Fakita both used to bark at the window a lot when I was a, when we had them when I was a kid. It was pretty funny. Funny, yeah, like he'll bark at a squirrel, he'll bark at a random person, he'll bark at like a random dog or something. It is pretty funny. And he's a pug and he's voiced by Bobby Monihan and Bobby Moyhan, I Moy Moynihan? Moynihan? I don't know how to say it. M O Y N I H A N, that's how you say it. Hope you spell it, but I don't know how to say it. And I am not familiar with him in anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Norman. Norman is a, a pretty funny character. I like him because he goes through like so many pipes trying to find his owner, but he always ends up in the wrong place. Like he ends up in his, um, he tries to like find his house in the apartment. Like he always ends up in Max's hat place. 
So as part of the apartment, he always ends up in um, Gidget's, he'll end up in um, Buddy's, he'll end up in Chloe's part of the apartment, he'll end up in, in um, Pops is part of the apartment, probably anyone's, and then he'll end up in a sewer on accident. It's pretty funny that he tries to find his way home, but he ends up going where he doesn't need, where he ends up, ends up not belonging. It is pretty funny. And he is a guinea pig, and he's voiced by Chris Renan, and he is the director of um, Secret Life of Pets. Next, I'm going to talk about the humans, and the good news is I only have one human on this list who has a name, and that's Katie. And that is, um, she is Duke and Max's owner. I like Katie because she loves to save animals who do not have a, play, a place to live in. Like, she saves Max when he is a puppy who is abandoned in a box. Sorry if I give it for the way for those who haven't seen it. And she ends up adopting Duke from the pound. I think it's a really cool way to save it, to help an animal out. Like, you take him from the pound. It's a great idea because then you're saving an animal's life. It kind of reminds me of me because when I was growing up, we had a lot of animals that we've taken in were strays or we, I think we got like a couple cats from the pound, and but most of our animals we got were strays. And she is voiced by Ellie Kemper, and Ellie Kemper I'm not familiar with in anything else but this movie. And this takes place in Manhattan, and I've never been to Manhattan before, but it looks like a really nice place. I love the big cities, I love... The part, big apartments, I like how it has so many buildings. I love everything about, like, the setting. I like how the um, computer animation is so realistic. Like, the grass, the buildings, the trees. Everything in that movie is just so realistic. That's what I love, how they, what they can do with computer animation. Okay, so I would recommend um, Secret Life of Pets to anybody who loves animals, dogs, and... People who have a great bond with their pets, it's really cute because there's a lot of pet bonding with people and their owners. It's just great because everybody who loves animals should probably watch this movie. Movie. <laughs> okay, so that was my review on The Secret Life of Pets. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!